Hello, welcome to Art and Grace. This is Deb. Glad you guys are going to join me today. I'm saying it in advance because I know that you'll be here. <laughs> I am pulling you up on the iPad so I can see the comments. So when you get on, if you will leave me a comment so I can see um, who all is here and just be sure everything's working okay. Hope you guys are having a good Tuesday. I am going to paint on this cute wood round. It's a really cute little small one, and I think it's going to be perfect for this design that I've got pictured. Hi, Christy. I'm glad I can see on my phone, too. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tammy. Glad y'all are here. Hi, Tiza. I'm so glad y'all are popping on. So, I have a really cute little design. You can do this one quick. It's not going to be hard. It's going to be perfect. Hi, Linda. Glad you're here, too. Hi, Tony. I actually saw your little picture before you said hi. <laughs> I just recognized it. So, y'all, how has your Tuesday been? I hope you've had a good day. It is beautiful and spring beautiful here in Texas. Um, you know, the world is heavy right now. I just keep wanting to say pop in here when you need a break because we all have to know what's going on and we're all watching and kind of staying updated, but we also need a break from it. So, Take a little break every now and then and come on and get some art or crafts and, you know, just do a reset. So, you guys tell me how you're doing. Hi, Bonnie. Yes, Dana. Good. Hi, Lila. I'm so glad you're here. Good to see you. Hi, Mel. And hi, Christy. Hi, Wanda. Glad you're here. I'm so, I'm so happy you guys are popping on. It really does. It just, when I see you, I'm like, oh, yay. Because I know that everybody's busy and I almost feel guilty. You know, I feel like, oh, it's five o'clock or, you know, close to five. Everybody's going to do dinner, but I'm going to get started so that we don't stay long. Um, you guys can get on to something else, but I have been wanting to do something uh, springy. I am bringing, y'all, you guys that know me know I do not use purple. I am a pink person. I use pink. Everything in here is pink. Pretty much no matter what holiday, I'm going to bring in pink. But I'm going to try some purple this year. I have really grown to love purple because of Alzheimer's. You know, it's the color for Alzheimer's Association. And um, so I'm going to bring some purple in this year, which I've never done. So anyway, I've got a really pretty purple I'm going to show you guys and get this thing painted. It won't all be purple, but I'm just bringing in elements of purple. And so y'all tell me how you're doing. Just tell me how you're doing. Oh, thanks, Dana. <laughs> Hi, Anne. Glad you're here. Christy, you're painting right now for your daughter? That's great. Hi, Deborah. Oh, good. I'm glad it's beautiful. You guys. Hi, Terry. Glad you're here, too. You guys are awesome. Hi, Bonnie. So, um, if anybody can spread this out, I forgot to ask. A lot of times, I will ask the people on my text list because Facebook doesn't want us to ask, but um, I can ask there. I can ask my friends on my text list, so um, I forgot to do that. So if anybody can do that, I would really, really appreciate it. Let me tell y'all, I told my VIP group earlier today that I'm in major trouble with Facebook right now. I said something in jest <laughs> on somebody else's page. I said, you know, one of the, the words that we're not supposed to say. And so my account has been flagged. I got a notification. I got a warning and I am like literally on probation. So um, I've appealed it because obviously I did not mean anything by it. It was a joke. It was, you know, but I don't know how it'll turn out. And I'm scared to death of having, I shouldn't have said that, but I am scared of having my page taken down. You know how that, I've heard of it plenty of times happening. So, um, and I shouldn't have just said that. See, on, on, you're on probation and I just said something that I probably shouldn't have said. But it's, it's so hard when we talk that way and in joking, we don't mean anything by it, but they have the little robot, however that works, you know, that are listening. And so, we can get ourselves into trouble. So if you own a business, girls, let me just tell you, be super careful with those little, and I don't know, I don't even have the list personally. If you have the list of words that we shouldn't say, let me know. But I mean, I'm, I should have known. I just, 
you know, we say things without thinking. Exactly. And that is the word. That's the word that I said. Um, it did not have heat in front of it. It had something else in front of it. But yes, that's the word that got me. And we are in a, obviously, a different time. We're not going back to the good old days, unfortunately. It's never going to go back to the good old days. So I have to, we all have to learn to play by the rules. And, um, you know, I just, it's taken an, an old dog. It takes a little longer to learn the new tricks. This is Chalky Finish. I hope I, yeah, I turned it around. Chalky Finish by Deco Art. I'm just getting a good base coat on this wood. So just super fast. Y'all saw how fast it was to get it on there. This is my favorite because it's creamy and it's just great coverage. But you can use any base coat you want to or any chalk, chalk paint works great for a base coat. That's exactly right, Dana. They cannot... Well, because there's too many of us. There's too many people and too many conversations going. So they just have that little, I don't know, I call it robot, whatever it is, in place to catch the words. And it does, I did submit it for review, but you know how that goes. They, they told me, the little thing came back and said, um, I know, Linda, we do need to make up a code. Said uh, that they, let's see, how did they word it? Um, that they would review it, but that, or that they would try to review it, but right now they're so overwhelmed with COVID that, um, it, they couldn't guarantee or something. So, I mean, it's like either it's going to take a long time or they may not get it, get to it. I don't know. Yeah, I know, Christy. It's just so, I know. 24 hours. I'm hoping that that's all they do to me. I hope it's 24 hours, but it's just crazy. Yeah. So, I, hi, Brooke. Hi again. I'm so glad some of my VIP uh, friends are here again. Hi, April. You too. Um, which I am just, I love that because you already watched me once today. So, I'm so thankful you guys come back. I'm trying to decide what color. So, I'm going to do some flowers with these and this. This is my purple I'm going to add. I've never really used purple. And then I'm going to do some greenery with these two. So now I'm like, what do I want for my background? How about, I have an idea. I mean, this would be so weird to have a green background because I've never done that. But we could have a lime green, kind of a light green. Um, what do y'all think? Nothing's jumping out to me to do. I kind of, uh, I don't know. I could do yellow. Hi, Jean. Hi, oh. Let's see, I missed it. Can't get it back. I know, I am really trying not to be stressed. And I am um, trying to just, you know, do my thing, keep doing the right thing, and hopefully it'll all work out. Purple, yellow, and green, but for the background, what color? What color, I can't decide. Um, maybe yellow. I, I mean, I like yellow. I'm using yellow. Are you serious, Jean? I see there's so many glitchy things, guys. Y'all just bear with us. We have no control over all the glitchiness that's going on with Facebook. We just, you know, we're all at their mercy for real. Um, but it's very glitchy and sometimes people are commenting and we can't see it. I had one of my VIPers that ha had to request to get back in the group. I don't know what happened, but, you know, she was like out. And then, so, yeah, who knows? Thanks, Tony. I think yellow will be pretty, too. I'm really into yellow. So, if you guys have seen, I'm doing an event next week in the Art and Craft Showcase. And my colors are the hot pink that I use and yellow. And so, maybe that's why yellow is just really appealing to me this spring. So, yeah, let's do the yellow. And I wanted to be sure I told y'all the colors. Sunny Day, this is called Sunny Day, and it is really the a really pretty, it's not shockingly yellow, like some of the yellows I have are, you know, like that, and it's not as dark, so it's a really, really pretty shade of yellow. So I'm just gonna get this whole background done, and because I've got the chalk paint on there first, that will cause me to use less of my paint and just, you know, it'll go on here nice and smooth. So 
So let me know if you are the if this is the first time to watch me. I have lately noticed that a lot of you are saying that. So thank you to everyone who sprinkles this out because that's how I'm making new friends and new people are coming into our world. And so I really, really appreciate that. And I definitely want you guys to get in my free group, which is the Art and Craft Showcase. Next Tuesday, the 8th, is the International Woman's Day. And I'm sure that there are places where it's going to be super political, but that's not the case with me. With me, I am just bringing together a bunch of creative friends. We're going to have a whole entire day dedicated to celebrating women, celebrating each other. Um, we all obviously own art businesses or craft businesses, so we'll celebrate that. We will be giving you guys free tutorials all day long from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So it's just going to be a really fun, full day. Um, nothing against gentlemen. I have great gentlemen friends. Um, Justin Krause is one of them, and he is the crafty brother. He is fantastic and amazing and a great friend. Um, so it has, you know, it's just one day that we're going to take to kind of celebrate each other and have fun and show support to each other as women because you don't always find that, you know, sometimes there's women who don't want to share or don't want to collaborate or whatever. So we're coming together to show it can be done and done well. Thank you guys for welcoming our new friends. I love that. Hi, Christine. Glad you're here. Oh, is that right, Tammy? See, that happened to Monica the other day. It's happened to um, Sandra. I'm thinking somebody else has told me that too. Hi, Tracy. Glad you jumped on. It's okay if you can't stay. Jean, thank you for the stars. I appreciate that so much. Yeah, Linda, we definitely are, and all of my videos are on YouTube. I take, I literally, for now, because I'm, it's just me doing everything, and, and it's really a lot of work to do the background stuff, I am literally just taking my Facebook videos and downloading them and putting them on YouTube. So it's nothing new unless you go back to the old stuff you haven't seen. It's really just these videos that I'm moving in case we go to. We, we go down with a ship. At least we have them somewhere else. Oh, good, Tammy. I'm glad it's better. Sometimes that's all it needs. Can we join your groups? Yes, Tony. Listen, I am, I just, I never, ever want, I'm looking for my little, um, what do you call it? Sanding block? Yeah, because I went over here and I, I don't like that. Now, I could put a bow right here at the top and that would cover it, or you can just kind of sand it. And I'm just doing a light sand to kind of get that yellow off of that part right there. Um, I am going to, oh, okay, so in the free group, that is where the bid event will take place. So anybody can get in there, and I should have put the, I, I think I did, I think I did put it in the description up above. So maybe somebody can check and tell me, but I think I did. But um, that is where the event will take place. So you can get in there for free and just watch all day long. Or I have everything organized into guides. So you can go back later and watch them. They will be there in there forever, basically. So, um, you know, I'll never take them out. Now, if Facebook <laughs> did, that's another thing. But we're going to... Just pray that everything stays okay and I can stay in their good graces for a little bit longer. Okay, I think I'm going to do my flowers first. Let me grab this pink. I'm just wanting to show... Oh, Christy, thank you for the stars. I appreciate that. Hi, Trisha. I don't think I said hi to you. If I did, I, I'm, it's a double hi. Y'all are awesome. Thanks for welcoming everybody. Hi, Sandra. I was just mentioning you because... You were in, in the VIP group and weren't able to comment that day. And I was saying to somebody, you know, it just sometimes those things happen and we don't know why. It just It's just a weird glitch. But I've seen enough people say the same thing that I know it's just, you know, nothing we can help. I bet you 10 bucks. Oh, you did get... See, I started to say, I bet you that um, Facebook isn't going to let me have stars today, but they did. So, y'all did send them. So, thank you. Couldn't upload, Martha. 
Oh, see, well, they told me what I did, and I did say a word that could be considered, you know, um, dangerous or something, but it was totally in jest. I mean, it was a joke, you know. Anyway, so I'm just taking, let me grab a little white while I'm here. Hold on. I'm going to just get my round brush into this pink color that I've got. So I'm just putting a pretty good amount on there, but I'm also going to dip it into the white. So you've got the pink and the white on your brush. And I'm gonna start and just make my basic little, you know, round flowers that I make. I love showing these because they are so easy. So each time I'm dipping, I'm doing the pink and the white. There's several ways you can do these, guys. No, no one way, but I'm making kind of an imperfect circle and I'm now coming in with just the dark pink and just kind of putting a few more swipes, but these are just what I call comma shapes. So that's all you do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple more. I feel like y'all can hear my stomach growling. It's so loud. I hope you can't. I'm gonna do another one over here. So you can do this on a canvas, on a book, you know, if you want to paint on a book, um, on wood, on glass, on a vase. I've painted vases just recently like this. Y'all might have seen it. So it's just a great little, did we have a party and I didn't even know it? Oh, but I did see the ending. Thank y'all so much. And I'm so happy that Facebook let me do it. Thank y'all. Y'all are awesome. Tracy, Brooke. Brooke twice, I think, Jean, Tammy, I know Christy, Tracy, if it, anybody else, I'm sorry, I will go back. I absolutely appreciate everyone, so I will go back because I like to say thank you individually. It really does mean a lot to me, so um, anyway, I don't know what I was saying. That was so exciting. <laughs> I saw that peripheral vision, and I love it. It's very fun for us. So anyway, I'm just making these commas with my paint. You can add another color in. I'll probably pick up a little bit of this yellow on here with my pink, doesn't matter. And this one, it's mixed, will kind of make a little bit of a peachy, kind of orangey color, but it's really pretty. So you can just pick up a little yellow since I've got it on my palette and put it around a few spots. Now, I don't wanna to do too, too much because it is still wet. This one's a little drier and you know, if you do it when it's super wet like these, it just kind of blends. And I don't really want to blend it, over blend it. So I'm just kind of trying to dab a little bit in here. And if I get too much and it looks too blended, then I'll just dip my brush back into the pink only and add some of that. But that's good for now. And then let's do another. Thank y'all, I love it. Thank y'all so much. And Marty, thank you, all of you. I will go back and be sure I haven't missed anybody. Isn't it a pretty yellow? I love it too. It's a really happy, that's the thing about yellow is it's a happy color. And I'm super big on surrounding yourself with things that make you happy or make you feel good. So you could do what I'm doing and then in the middle, write a Bible verse or write your favorite quote or write your name or your big initial or, you know, just anything and then set it somewhere where you can see it every day. You could put it on, um, you could put it on a little plate stand. You could um, hang it in your bathroom or wherever you get ready. You know, there's so many things you can do to just add a little bit of beauty, touches of beauty where you live or work, you know, take it to work and put it on your work desk. I'm going to stick with this brush and we'll just make a different kind of flower with it. And I'm just letting the brush make these strokes. I'm just kind of starting out and bringing it in. And I'm coming into my white and kind of come back over it and let all that kind of blend together. And you can load your brush with both colors. Sometimes I do, sometimes I just do them like this. It's just so easy to just make these little flowers. They don't have to be perfect. I'll do this one with the white on it too. So you've got the purple and the white. I'm glad y'all are here. 
welcome anybody who's new. If you are new, um, I'm just thrilled that you're here. We have a good time on this page. We try to be really uplifting and encouraging. And I don't know, we have a lot of great ladies that follow me, so... Um, you're always, you always have a friend here. You know, you're always kind of, I hope that you feel at home here. That's my goal anyway. I like to be a good distraction from the world, you know, from what we're facing every day. And I'm, I have no like agenda here. I'm just kind of putting them wherever I want to. I had a idea in my mind, so... Just kind of playing around. And you can do this on uh, mixed media paper first, you know, to kind of see if you if you like the design that you're going for. But I'm just kind of like putting down some flowers. That's all, just putting down some flowers. And then we'll do some greenery. Let me grab a thinner brush here. These brushes I'm using, um, if I have not shown you, <laughs> they're my favorite for details, let's see if you can see. Um, I always say that if you have good brushes, there, then they will do the work for you. These are Deco brushes. I get them on Amazon, um, and I've got them linked in my Amazon store if you wanted to see them. The best way, honestly, to find the stuff that I use, so if you ever watch me and you wonder, where did I get the wood slices, or what kind of paint do I use, whatever, um, just go to my website, which is artgracepaint.com, and there's a page, it's like the second page, I think, that has all my favorite supplies. And you can just scroll, find what you want, click on it, and it'll take you right where I get it. Um, or you can just, you don't have to get it through me. But if you do, then I get a small percentage if it's Amazon or if I'm affiliate. And not everything I'm an affiliate for, but if I am, I have it in there. Oh, do you like them, Dana? Have you used them yet? So I'm gonna, I put out a couple more shades of my, of my, like I've got a green and I've got like a turquoise that I'm using. I'm just gonna start with this green color and I am kind of thinning it out so my brush is very wet so that my paint will glide. If it, if I had a, a dry brush, then it's not gonna go very far and it's gonna kind of pull but by having um, a wet brush, I should be able to go a lot longer with my stroke and see how I can get it pretty narrow. And I don't know, it just gives you a much better stroke to have your, and I'm just gonna kind of put down some greenery and that is it. I'm gonna start over here on these and kind of let them, let them overlap. And then I'm gonna come into my little lighter green and add some of that. So while it's all still wet, and this is not my smallest brush. I actually really thought this was the smaller one, but it's, hi Monica, how are you? Tammy hadn't used them yet. Okay, well, you're gonna love them. I haven't met anybody who's used them that hasn't loved them. So I'm just gonna kind of bring this other color into the mix. And you can just put as many or as few, you know, and using the different colors, just getting some on here. Oh, April. In fact, it was April who bought these for me. Um, I don't remember, did I have a set, April, and then you bought me some more? But I'm telling you, we, they're just fantastic. They really, really are, and they're very inexpensive. Um, you can get a bigger set. They have two, two, the ones that I've, you know, found, unless they've changed it, they've got two sets. One is around $10, and one is around $15, if I remember right. Um, it might be $15 and $20, but it's something in there. It's under $20. And I just love them. I will say take care of them because, you know, if you're spending that price, which I'm saying that's not a whole lot for brushes, for a brush set because you get a whole bunch. 
Um, but I guess what I'm saying is for that price, you're going to need to take care of them. Don't leave them in water. You know, when you leave them in water, the water travels up. This is wood, which comes down into the metal. And that water, if you're, if you're sitting it in water, water is getting all up under here and ruining this wood. Then that will fall out. It just makes it, and the bristles, the bristles bend. You just don't want to leave them in water. So that's my best advice is don't leave them. Be better than me and take them out and wash them immediately when you're done. I try really hard. I do. I do pretty good. This is all just, I'll say this a lot, but with art, it's just personal preference. So if you like more greenery, just keep adding your little lines. And if you like, you know, really a little bit, then that's okay too. Um, it's totally, there's no right or wrong way. Yours does not have to look like mine. In fact, I think it's better if it doesn't, you know. I think it's better to just have your own style and do what you enjoy. I am going to switch to a little smaller brush. I'll go back to this round brush again, the same one I had earlier, and I'm gonna do some leaves. So I'm gonna get the dark green and the light green on my brush at one time. Just kind of blobbed it on there. Hope I'm not missing any. Aw, thanks, Sandra. Thank you, guys. Yes, fun and whimsical and just happy. I think it looks happy, right? That's the goal. Um, I just had to decide which way I want to go. So I think I want to go this way. So I am putting my brush down, pressing, and lifting up. Putting it down, pressing, and then lifting up. And that will do, that's what I mean about the brush will do it for you. Um, you're, you're just letting it do what it does. Press it down, lift it up. Press it down, lift it up. I don't know if y'all can hear the little birds outside, but they're so loud, I feel like y'all probably can. And your leaves can, they don't all have to be the same size. Just think about nature. It's not perfect and it's not exact. But you see how fast I'm doing these. If you wanted to take your time, they would be more, you know, perfect, but I don't. I think for me, art is I want my art to just relax people and I want it to be stress-free. That was the whole purpose of me doing what I do is to help other women relax with art. And um, so I never teach anything that you can't do. I will only teach designs that I know you guys can do and will be relaxing and, and fun, hopefully. We have a great time in my private group, so if you have thought about getting in there but missed out or something, please get in there the next time we open. We um, are about to do a project together just for anybody who wants to. We're going to do some glass art, and I'm going to mail kits, so I'd love for you to get in on that. Okay, how's that looking? You hear the birds outside your house? Tina, these are Deco brushes. So let me show you. It'll say Deco on it. And then it's got this little handle that is so fantastic. See, it's got the three sides. So your hand fits in just, I mean, your finger just, it's perfect. So yeah, that's what I love. I've told so many people about them. And I think a lot of y'all are using them and love them too. I've not heard one person say they don't like them, so that's really good. I'm gonna put out just a little bit of black. I know it sounds harsh, but I am gonna put a little bit of black and do some dots in the center of these flowers. It'll be a contrast, so it'll it'll be pretty. Um, just using the very tip of this brush. And 
And then also I'll take a little of this black and just barely kind of put it here and there and make these leaves really pop. It's just giving it contrast. And then I'll do the same with some white on the other side. Y'all see that? Oh, Tony, did you get some? I can't remember who else told me that they did. If you have the brushes and like them, let me know. Or if you don't like them, let me know. I still want to know. Um, I never, you will never, ever, ever see me put something on my Amazon list or be an affiliate for something that I don't personally love and use. I just don't believe in it. I know there's a lot of people who do that, and I just don't. I don't care. The commission that we get is around 3%. I could care less about basically the pennies we get um, if somebody's going to get an item they don't like because that looks bad on me. So you have my word, you're never gonna, I'm never gonna tell you, oh, go get these, they're great, if I don't love them. Um, literally, you know, would rather not have the little commission they give us. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate when you guys use our links, any anytime a creator gives you a link and you know, it's their affiliate or whatever, we appreciate it so much because you know, it does all add up. But I just am telling you, so you know, I'll never tell you to get something if I don't love it. So whichever side, I usually put the um, the dark high, uh, contrast shadow on the bottom of the leaf and then the white on the top. Sometimes I do it backwards if I'm upside down. It just happens that I make a mistake, but it, you know, it's fine. It doesn't hurt anything. So I'm just putting a little bits of white Make these pop. Okay, Tony. You just, oh, can you hear him? Are you here? Yeah, you hear mine, Tony? Or you mean outside, outside your house? Christy, what did you paint? Oh, thanks, Tony. Yes, April, it would. In fact, whatever color the nursery is, you could do in this and then write their name or, you know, nickname or the date they were born or yeah, you could do a lot. Really could. I think that's good. I'm gonna write an I'm gonna write a little phrase on here. Not write, I'm going to trace because you know my handwriting is not good on its own. And I'm just gonna look at this and see which side I think I'm gonna, you know, either hang it or I think I like it this way. So let me see. Yeah, I think that looks good. Um, I don't know, I can either hang it and put a bow up here. Um, I might just set it on a little stand. So I'm gonna write this little Hello Spring on here and paint that and then we're done. So. I don't know, what time did I start? 4.30? And I've talked a lot, so. I'm just gonna press down pretty hard. I have already scraped some number two pencil on the back so that the lead would come off onto my painting. You can use carbon paper. You can um, use a Cricut and cut it out. But this is just something I printed out, scraped on the back with a pencil, and now I've got the phrase written on here. Can y'all see that? And I can paint it. <laughs> I, know. I 
I know. Oh, does she, Dana? How sweet. You should do one for her. Oh, my goodness. I would give anything if I had my mom still to do one for her. Um, so, that's my challenge to you, girl, is you do one for your mom. Now you have to. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> totally teasing. Okay. I just got in some white. Let me get a new little thing here. I'm going to go ahead and just use this brush since I have it out. You can switch to a smaller brush. Um, I probably should, but it's okay. I'm going to do it with this one anyway. See if I can maybe not mess it up too bad upside down. I really need a smaller brush. Let's just see. I guess I, I can already tell I'm losing control of it. It's so big for this anyway, for this. And a lot of times I will use whatever I, you know, did as a guide and, and make it a lot larger. So I might go over these letters to make them bigger. But I don't have good handwriting on my own. And I just haven't taken the time to practice enough to get better at this. So I just use the tracer. And call it a day. Because in my book, done is better than perfect. Because if I just always focus on being perfect, um, I would never get anything done. You know what I mean? It would just be like, oh, I've got to fix that. So I'm going to set that aside and fix it later. So this way, by just doing it the best I can, um, you know, it's I'm always going to have something to show for it. And when you give it as a gift, trust me. They would rather have it imperfect and in their hand than just a me, uh, you know, something that you meant to do, but they don't have it. Y'all with me on that? Because I'm the number one about having good intentions. I always think of things I should do, but then getting around to actually doing them is hard. And so it's better to go ahead and just get it done. Can y'all hear my dog? There's kids outside, so she just growled. Not bad. I mean, it's on. Thank you, Jean. Yes, seriously, done is better than perfect because, you know, get your work done pretty quick and it can be good. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you can go play or you can craft or you can paint or whatever. Thank you, Sandra. You hear her, April? <gasps> Thank you, guys. Oh, Sandra, yes. Oh. <laughs> April. <laughs> it did take y'all a while. <laughs> yes, Dana, it is. Let's just measure it um, and see. So, from tip to tip is seven and a quarter. Seven inches and a quarter. You had it right on target. That's right. That is it, guys. So super quick, super simple, but cute. Somebody would love to have this. When you're done, you can put some, um, I use the decoupage. It's called deco page, really, uh, gloss, because I like mine glossy. Or you can use Mod Podge, but put that over it to seal it. And I do two coats. I let it dry real well, and then I'll do another coat. Um, but then they can put it up on a little picture, you know, the little, I don't know, what are those easel, like a little picture easel thing that you get at Dollar Tree, 
or they can you can actually put something on the back to hang it you know whatever they want to do but I think it'd be a great gift or just for you to see some beauty in your day or put your favorite word quote maybe you need to put done is better than perfect thank you guys how did you put the lettering outline onto it Monica all I did was I printed what I wanted it to say on the computer just printed it out and then scratched pencil on the back of it laid it down and went over that with a pen which left the lines on my wood and then I could just paint right over them. So yeah, super, super easy. That's a really easy way to do it. Um, if you don't have a Cricut or don't want to mess with getting your Cricut going um, or, you know, whatever, just an easy, easy way. Or you can use carbon paper under it. Thank y'all for all the hearts. I'm just looking here for the comments. Thank you, Linda. Thanks, Marty. Vina, I don't know what that means, but thank you. I'll have to look it up. Thanks, Sandra. So are you. You guys are awesome. I have the best, sweetest ladies in the world, and I appreciate you guys. Thanks, Tracy. They are bright and pretty. I should tell you all the colors in case you want to. Let's see. So I use Royal Fuchsia. That's my go-to. I use it all the time. I used a little bit of the lavender. It's just lavender. I use, I hardly, hardly use any of the Green Lagoon, but I did put a little of that into the greenery. Mostly I use this green tree, which is so pretty for spring. See that? Really pretty. And then my sunny day, I use a little bit of leaf green to bring out some dark. You can always take this and add a little bit of black to it. And I mean, just put a little on your palette and add just the tiniest bit of black to get a darker green. Or if you're like me, you can just buy both. And then, did I use the lime green? I'm trying to remember if I did. I don't think I used the lime green, so that I didn't even use. So, yeah, that's it. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the stars. Thank you for the hearts and the sweet comments. I appreciate you guys. Oh, thanks, Vina. It means beautiful. I appreciate that. Oh, Tammy, you're welcome. I love helping you guys. Thanks, Terry. Thank you. Oh, hello, Tees Creations and Designs. Awesome, Terry. Thank you. Um, thanks, Trisha. Y'all are so nice. Aw, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, anyway, if you make one, you have to tag me. I want to see it. Or at least send it to me in a messenger or something. So, thank you, Terry. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for sprinkling. That is so helpful. I, I always really try hard to go back and thank you guys for doing that because it really does get this out to more people. And hopefully, FB won't throw me off the, I should, can't say that. See, I can't say anything joking anymore, I'm afraid. But um, I'm trying to stay in Facebook's good graces. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, y'all have a good day. I will see you next time. Bye. Go get in my free group. Go get in the Art and Craft Showcase before you forget.